hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so today i'm gonna be doing some new year's nails because today is new year's so i do want to wish everyone a happy new year i hope you guys had a great last year let's make this year even better every time the new year rolls around i just feel like it's so shocking to know that january is back again i don't know if it's just me but i feel like the year just go by faster and faster each year but yeah, I did just want to wish you guys a happy new year. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So first, I'm going to apply my nail tips, which I picked out. These are the Kara Sky Coffin No C Curve 3XL. Um, and for some reason, I have a problem with applying these with their glue every time. Um, like, I don't know why, but they're just having a harder time sticking. I have to hold them there longer. Like this one here, like it is just not sticking. And my only guess is that these tips are supposed to be applied to like dehydrated prep nails. And maybe my pop off base coat is like interfering with it. So it's having a harder time trying to adhere. Um, So which is why I love to use the builder gel when applying these. I put a little bit of the builder gel inside of the nail tip and getting a flashing light, I just go ahead and cure for about five seconds. And that way I have all of my nails applied. And then I'll put them in my bigger light for another 30 seconds just to make sure everything is nice and cured. So some of the items I'm going to be using, my monomer is from Not Polished. This is their low odor monomer and it just so happens to be like my favorite or like the one I have most. So I just went ahead and decided to use it. And I'm also going to be using a Kiera Sky acrylic Kalinsky brush. I have everything linked down below. And of course, I'm going to be including some black in these nails because black and gold just, you know, that's just New Year's colors. And um, I feel like this was a great time to actually use this black from Kiera Sky because since I picked it out, I haven't been able to use it besides swatch it for a swatch video. And so I wanted to make sure that like I shook everything up. You saw me give it a shake. I wanted to make sure everything was nice and combined because like everyone says, black acrylic is so much harder to work with because of the dark pigments. But before I used it, I am taking the Kiera Sky Clear and I'm putting a little bit just where I glued on my tip because from the um, builder gel, it was kind of like a little hump and I didn't want to file it away. So I just went ahead and covered it just to even it out with some clear acrylic. And then I'll go in with my application. So jumping right back to the black acrylic, um, I'm going to start off with my pinky because I want this one to be a solid nail. And I'm not going to lie, I was kind of scared to go in here and start off immediately with the black. Um, but I honestly just wanted to go ahead and get it out the way. And again, it was pretty cold, so I have my heat going. And I also put a few drops of acetone into my monomer. Um, I feel like acetone is a lot more effective than the Kara Sky Monomer Enhancer Drops. I feel like this acrylic is laying pretty nicely and I'm not having any troubles with it being too runny. So, so far it is looking pretty good. So in all honesty, I felt like it wasn't hard at all. And plus, as you guys see, this black is so smooth. Like it honestly just feels like butter under my brush. Um, it wasn't running everywhere. It went exactly where I wanted to put it. And honestly, I feel like I was worried for nothing because, you know, it looks pretty good. I didn't have a problem using it. So if you guys want a good black that's not super runny, 
I do advise you to try this black from Kira Sky. And also, I have a discount code that you guys may know of, which is Nails by Key 10. And if you want to purchase anything from Kira Sky, it will save you 10% off your entire order. But yeah, I really love this black. And I just think the quality of it is amazing. But however, I feel like this is not one of the blacks you want to build up. I know sometimes whenever I'm doing like a simple nail set and I don't feel like encapsulating, especially when I'm using like a nude base and you know, I just want something just to lay down for the base color. I do tend to try to build it up with that color, but this is definitely not one you want to build up because for the most part, I feel like this is a little bit gummier than more acrylics. Like even though it's super buttery, I'm not sure how this is going to sound, but like when I use it, it kind of feels a little bit, um, like once it starts to dry, it kind of gets a little bit rubbery and you can tell whenever I'm like trying to square off the free edge a little bit, if that makes sense, if you guys catch it. But while applying it, it's really smooth and when you go to file, it might not file as nice. So definitely if you do have this or any black, I do advise you guys to cap it off, encapsulate so that it's protected whenever you go to file. But yeah, here I'm just doing another solid nail on my middle finger, which I'm going to be encapsulating some glitter in there. So I pulled out some gold glitter and the clear acrylic from Kara Sky once again. I did have a few choices on glitter, but I felt like this was most accurate to what I wanted. Um, I don't have an acrylic glitter like this, although it would have made it a lot easier. And I also do have more glitters, but I don't know why, but my shades of gold are just always so different. But this one was closest to what I wanted, so I'm just putting some clear on there and just adding the glitter as I go. And some of these had like green reflectance, like you kind of see it on the nail now. So eventually I'll start to remove those as I see them and um, I'll just start putting bigger pieces and just putting them where I want to cover up the spaces because this was honestly a little bit difficult trying to get this glitter on there without it moving too much or getting it where exactly I wanted it. For the most part, I'm going to be doing an ombre going up the nail. The further I get towards the center, I'm going to spread them out. It wasn't the best, but once I was satisfied with how the placement of the glitter looks, I went ahead and encapsulated that nail so it can be done. And now for the next nail, I'm going to be using Bougie Beige from Kara Sky. This is one of my favorite go-to nudes whenever it comes to doing a nude base. And I guess you can say this nail set was kind of a freestyle. The only nail I wanted to recreate that I knew for sure what was going to happen on it was the middle finger. So that's why, you know, it's more done to it. But for the rest of them, it's more like a freestyle. I just went with what I thought was going to look good. And so for my ring finger, when I picked up the bead... I was going back and forth with doing a French tip or just ombre it out. The ombre would have made it so much more easier. And I was just like, just ombre it out. I don't have time to like try to focus on a French tip. And my head was telling me to ombre it, but my actions just went ahead and did a French tip. And I was just like, okay, what did I get myself into? But I'm so happy I actually did the French tip because it turned out so good. And I think this is one of my best acrylic French tips that I've ever done. Um, I'll just have to watch this back a couple times and just kind of see what I did differently here and apply it to the rest of them because I really want to master trying to do French tips using acrylic. But yeah, as you guys see here, I'm just putting it in like an oval shape. 
and I feel like for the most part the acetone in my monomer actually helped because when doing French tips you want the acrylic to stay exactly where you put it and if it just runs all over the place it's going to be a little bit harder so just having it set up a little bit faster definitely helped. I added a little bit more off camera just to kind of perfect it a little bit and then I moved on to my index nail which I'm going to be doing some color blocking um, and both of these nails I will have to file before adding the next color so I just went ahead and did these first and once I wait for them to dry a little bit I'll file them and then add on the rest of the acrylic. And so this one is going to be similar to my Christmas nails that I did um, where I put like three colors in it and I color blocked them. And this one will be nude, gold glitter, and black. So I'm just going to put it on the nail and try to get it as neat as possible. Then I'll wait for it to dry. I'll file it off camera and then go in and add my second color. So like I said, I did go ahead and file off camera and this is how it looks. Um, and I wasn't too sure about it. So for this French tip, I was like, I just want to go ahead and get it out the way. So here I'm adding on my French tip color, which is the black. And starting off, like I'm starting off good already. I just love how it flowed inside of the little crease. Like I, it was just so satisfying to me and I loved how it looked. Of course, I will have to build it up a little bit. Um, but not too much because I am going to encapsulate this. And also for this nail, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add more color blocking, um, which is why you see me go in with very small beads because I was kind of unsure of what I wanted to do. But eventually I am just going to end up doing a solid black French tip, which was so stunning once I shaped and filed it. I cannot wait for you guys to see how it looks, but I'm going to go ahead and add on the black making sure to get it all up in those grooves around the French tip area. And then I'll switch over to my index nail, adding on my gold. And by the way, if you guys are enjoying today's video so far, make sure to go ahead and give it a like. And if you are here, you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to go ahead and do so. Join me so you don't miss out on a video. And also, if you want to be one of the first to comment on my videos, make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified whenever I upload a video. So I just wanted to mention here is a good example of when I said when it starts to dry, it kind of feels a little bit gummy. So when I'm squaring off the tip, like when I do it, even with my brush or my finger, it just kind of rolls underneath the nail. Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels rubbery. But once it dries, you have nothing to worry about. It does dry completely. And then, like I said here, I'm just going in doing the middle section with my clear acrylic and gold glitter. Then I'll repeat the same process until I'm finished with the black.
this nail was definitely one of the hardest because since I am doing three different colors it was hard to like match them being the same height especially with that glitter in the middle um it was so difficult but of course I will go in and encapsulate shape file trust me it will look a lot better but this is what the nails look like once I finish applying all of my base colors and also did a solid black on my thumb which I decided not to include because I didn't want it to be super repetitive but I did do a solid black just like my pinky and here is a little bit of filing I did file with my hand file off camera first just because since these nails were so wonky I know I was going to do a lot of filing so I went ahead and shaped up the sides and the free edge and underneath the nail a little bit off camera and then I'm going in with my 5-in-1 tapered drill bit and I think this is from Kara Sky and I am using my Not Polish Lux Pro Drill. Like I said, all of the products will be linked down below. So make sure if you want to check them out, you check out the description box. But I am going to do a little bit of filing with this 5-in-1 tapered drill bit. I feel like filing with an e-file is just so much more satisfying than watching the hand file. So I'll let this part here play out. Let you guys watch me um, shape up my nails a little bit. And then I'll come back once it's time to do the nail art. So here's what the nails look like once I finish shape filing and buffing. A few of them did pop off so if they look weird around the cuticle area please do not mind it. I know for sure my middle finger I believe is going to look like it. Um, when I reapplied it it didn't cover the side how it was supposed to so don't mind it. But y'all here is how my French tip look. It looks so good like it may not be the most perfect but from what I've done in the past this was like so top tier i was so proud of it it's super neat and i just really loved it but i'm gonna be taking some matte top coat because i knew for sure i wanted to do some nail art and since this black looked like it had like scratches in it i didn't want my mistakes to kind of bleed and sink into those grooves so i'm putting on some matte top coat just to be like a base layer 
and give me a smooth um, surface for my nail art. This was like a freestyle nail set, so I didn't know what to do on my other nails besides my middle fingers. So I just honestly went with the flow. And I just put the matte top coat on all of the nails that could possibly have nail art. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And once I cure it, I'm going to start with my nail art. So for my nail art, I'm going to be using a few of the Kara Sky brushes. And I really love these brushes. I think they really help me with my nail art becoming a lot neater. So if you guys want some good high quality brushes, I do recommend that you guys check this out. And so for my pinky, I am starting on my pinky. And let's just say this was not the first idea I had. I end up just editing all of it out and just going with what I um end up going with which is like some fireworks coming from the cuticle and the other side of the free edge of the nail which i thought was really cute because new year's everyone's pop firecrackers and they're just really really beautiful so i just did this um which is very easy to do i'm just doing little lines and once i cured on my white i am going to go in with a little bit of gold and like I was telling you guys, my gold colors never end up matching. So this gold here is a gel polish from BT Art Box. And it is definitely not the same color gold as on my middle and index nail. But honestly, it was what I was going for. And I felt like it didn't really make it look weird that much. So I did go ahead and carry it on. And also just to add a little bit more of the actual gold color I wanted into these nails, I am taking pieces of that glitter and just putting it like in the center of the firework and then I went ahead and cured that in place. So for my middle finger, this is the nail that I wanted to recreate. I can't remember if I saw it on Pinterest or Instagram, but I will put it up on the screen so you guys get to see the original or where my where I got my idea from. I'm going to be drawing out a clock, which I see a lot during New Year's. And honestly, I like the clock idea. I feel like it's really unique in a way because it's like everyone is like resetting their clocks for the new year like I don't know I just really like it so I just went ahead and did this on my middle finger once I get all of my details done I will go ahead and cure it in place and move on to the next nail I wanted this design to sparkle a little bit so once I cure on my white I am going back in with that same glitter I used for my fireworks and just outlining the clock and like I said since these glitters are not like the same shade I did use smaller pieces of those gold glitters and just put around it just to tie in that color a little bit more so it doesn't seem so off-putting. And I really love the way the clock turned out. Once I got everything cured in place, I'm moving on to my French tip. And I wanted to do some type of nail art on here, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And I most definitely didn't want to cover up my French tip that much because for me, it would have just felt like a waste of time 
just doing it so perfectly unintentionally and then covering it up so i didn't want to cover it up with any with anything so as you guys saw i did go ahead and just put 2024 on there using my acrylic pen which i did kind of rework off camera make it a little bit neater and stuff and then i went ahead and cured everything i repeated the firework nail on my thumb here which you guys see and i just let the rest of this play out I did add a little bit of bling, which I love a lot. I did add a little bit of gold rhinestones to my 2024 nail and a little bit um, on my firework nails. I will also add some to this nail around the cuticle area once I apply my top coat. Um, but when it came to the top coat, my initial thought was just to do all of my nails glossy. But once I saw how the firework nails look, I love how like the base was matte and then like the fireworks was like glittery and shiny to like, you know, give that firework look and i liked it a lot so what i end up doing is putting some top coat onto my nail palette and using my brush here i'm just going over my fireworks just to top coat it or what i can i know it's not going to be perfect but it's just what i had to do for it and also i decided not to top coat my clock nail either like i did for my fireworks i'm just going over like my glitter and what i can of the clock design but for the rest of it it's gonna be matte However, I felt like I should have went over it with a second coat of matte top coat and then added my glossy that way, like in the center of the clock, it would have looked a lot neater. That's just how I end up doing it. Um, and so my only two glossy nails are my index and my ring finger, which I like. And I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to look with a glossy top coat on all of them. So I may try it and um if i can i'll include it in the video but if not then i just didn't have enough time But once I finished top coat and everything rubbed in my cuticle oil, this is how the finished nails look. And I love these nails so much. I just feel like they are perfect for the new year. Yeah, I just really love this gold and black combination. I love the clock and the fireworks. I felt like it was a very nice set to bring in the new year. 
um i do hope to get a lot more videos done for you guys i hope to grow a little bit more um my goal for this year is to hit a hundred thousand subscribers so hopefully i can get there and you guys liking and leaving comments will definitely help me try to achieve that goal because it pushes out my video in the algorithm so for everyone who's been showing me support watching leaving comments liking my video thank you guys so much um and yeah that's it for today's video let me know what you thought about this new year set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye